Hey everybody, this is Beelit, and I've got some Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 gameplay for you guys today. This is a subscriber skirmish, and I'm going to identify this player by uh, calling him Port, because uh, I'm not going to say the whole name because it gets all confusing and clunky. Um, I had not played for over two months when I, when I played with him uh, just recently, and uh, you'll see that I'm pretty rusty in the matches that we play. Um, I got caught um, mashing the uh, melee button a little bit too much, and here I got screwed up by the lag. I wasn't sure how much I should uh, how much I should press the buttons and how much um, how many of the buttons would get dropped. So I just kept on pressing it and hoping that uh, I'd get a decent timing on it. I should have just not even gone for it, but whatever. Um, so I was really rusty, and you'll see that I was. Uh, pressing circle a little bit too much and the reason for that is I normally don't mash um, uh, very much um, I might press the circle button once or maybe twice after the opponent subs by accident normally only once um, but when it's particularly laggy <laughs> I end up pressing it uh, pressing the buttons a little bit too quickly and that gets me in some trouble so uh, I'm just trying to factor in the lag with this timing here. The next time that I get the combo, I will land the ultimate. So um, when when I play laggy matches, I tend to mash a little bit too much, and uh, you, you'll see that in the videos that are coming. But uh, I, I ended up getting pretty used to it, um, and and I ended up getting to a, a good spot with it. Um, about the play styles that you're going to see, um, it's very defensive. Um, Port, Port is a very defensive player, and it's very, very hard to play against that um, unless you two are extremely defensive. Um, and that, that's just me screwing up. <laughs> you can see the rust there. Um, it, it's very hard to play against a defensive style if you're not very defensive. Um, and so you'll see that you know I had to do some jump guarding and I, I try to avoid jump guarding but sometimes it's just a necessary evil um, especially when you're playing against a very defensive play style like this um, so eh, you know it it, it wasn't horrible you know um, it, it, if if he had been jump guarding um, more you know he in, in the first match you know it was extremely laggy and uh, you know he, he jump guarded a little bit, uh, a little bit too much. And and I asked him if he, you know, uh, jump guard a little bit less, and and he he was cool about it. Um, but uh, if if he had done it more, then we probably would have only played like one or two matches because I I just I can't I can't deal with that because I don't like to play in that style as well. And um, it's a hard style to, to fight against. It's one of the things that people are really concerned about with Generations. But I want to uh, kind of analyze the gameplay here. And you'll see that uh, Port uh, really relies on countering the opponent. And it was really hard for me to uh, play against that with the lag. Um, because when you're trying to do the melee, you've got to you've got to be really on top of your game. And oh, and that was happening to me all all day. I would chakra dash as soon as he uh, did a jutsu, and so I was getting smacked in the face constantly. <laughs> um, but uh, you, you'll see that it's really hard to to try to open up uh, port in these matches. And if if you slip up. You know, you're going to take a, a throw or a jutsu. Now, um, right here, I, nope, nope. Uh, it's actually coming pretty soon. I think this is it. Yep, here you go. Combo ultimate. Oh, like a boss. <laughs> so it, it's really hard to open up uh, a highly defensive opponent, and especially if they're good with their subs. And Port, he was on top of his subs uh, the whole time. You know, I, I don't think I landed more than one throw on him. Um, 
you know, just because he was very fast with the substitutions. And uh, I typically do not... Uh, I have a little bit of a harder time with, with my subs. I have uh, a broken R2 button, and it kind of sticks. So it's a little bit harder for me to, to mash the subs very well. Um, but when you go up against someone who's you know really got the uh, subs down, oh, it is hard. And uh, he, Port, Port had it. So uh, you'll see some really cool matches coming up. Um, I think we ended up going even overall. Uh, there is there's a Kabuto and Gara set where I don't think I I was playing Gara and I didn't win a single match, uh, but you know I was trying to learn with Gara, take him online because I hadn't done it before, and uh, you know I I think I actually did pretty well considering my uh, lack of experience and me being so rusty, um, but you'll see those matches a little bit later, and I'm going to in those matches uh, analyze the gameplay probably. Uh, match by match and kind of give you insight as to why I was doing certain things and um, I'm hoping that you guys enjoy this because when Generations comes out I may do the same thing for Generations and uh, it might be pretty fun to do so if you enjoyed the video like it share it however you feel necessary and if you'd like subscribe I'll see you guys next time Thanks for watching.